All right, ladies and gents, welcome <laughs> to what will hopefully be episode number three in Low Elo Legends. I have gone through dozens of games to try and find the third episode. I have not yet been satisfied. We have Calio, who's in the blue. He's playing as the Spanish. And Noob McPoop Poop, who's playing as the Franks. Um, yeah, that's how you know this is a Low Elo Legends episode, when you have a name like that. So, right off the bat, I saw Blue built two houses, which is good. That's normal. Uh, and he's making a mistake already by not sending that next villager to the sheep. Remember, hunt decays. So you do not get exactly 100 food from your sheep. A lot of people don't know this. So if you're splitting up villagers on multiple sheep, you're not collecting food fast enough from each sheep to eliminate decay. So it's not the end of the world, but... I would try and keep See? six on one sheep, and then put six on the next, okay. and then, oh, okay. <laughs> Villagers have a mind of their own sometimes. And uh, now, I, it looks like red will go to wood? Okay, he's going to wood. All right, so, so here's the deal. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to cry. I'm going to be sarcastic. I'm going to make jokes. I always do. All right, I'm an emotional person, but... I'm not going to be picking on these guys. In fact, this guy's picking on himself. He, he named, he has pooped twice in his name and the word noob, all right? So if, you know, there are some things where you're like, wow, T90, he really shouldn't have said that because this guy's just trying to play his game. He's, he's trying to, to have some fun and T90 is acting all high and mighty and picking on him. I'm not trying to pick on people, okay? Now, what's going to happen here is red villagers are going to choose separate sheep. So you want to keep your sheep Whoa! Well, I've been proven wrong. Okay, I, I think he clicked them to the next sheep. Nice job. I was really scared he was they were going to take all the sheep. I would keep your sheep uh, around here and then send them in one by one. Okay, so Red knows to lure a boar. Two on wood isn't an exact build order. Uh, he also has TC idle time. He's not creating villagers. This is a very big mistake. A very common one at that. Blue has four on wood. Um, I don't love the lumber camp position. It's better to put it up against the wood and leave one tile gaps for mills and for uh, mining, if you do. Okay, this isn't bad. The players are playing on Arabia, and they're pretty close together, so... I'm not sure if Calio really likes conquistadors and castle drops or what he's going to do, but he's scouting his base right now. <coughs> Oh, he's housed. <laughs> Uh-oh, panic. Luckily, Spanish villagers build faster. Oh, no! Don't build the house over there! That's just extra house time. Just panic one up anywhere so you can create new villas right away. Oh, no. That's gonna take forever! That's okay. Red wasn't creating villagers, so it didn't make much of a difference. It's fair. That's just Red trying to even the game out. It's like, oh, you're housed? It's alright. I'm gonna have idle TC. And I won't create villagers, so I won't catch up. Nice. See? All right, Blue's bringing in his boar. I like it. What's his scouting look like? Oh, he hasn't found his pig. Well, that's a mistake then. This scout should not be out here if you're looking for your pig. Could be here, could be here, could be here, could be here, could be here. Could, could honestly be in a lot of spots, except for the center of the map where his scout currently is. So that's going to hurt him. Now, if you're down a boar, you want to farm, or you could build a mill on your deer. Uh, what's red scouting look like? See, red scouting is a much better example of how you should scout. This is good. And here's his boar. Oh, no, don't take the sheep! It's a 99 food! Please tell me you're going to eat that. Oh, God. Okay. All right. I mean, it's still not great. You'd prefer to have all your villagers on board. Oh, boy. Yeah, so this a lot of this 340 food is going to rot away. Okay. More than it would if you would have everyone on board. But at least at least he's creating bills. Creating bills is key. Franks have a forge bonus, so it's a really good sieve to start with, I think. If you want to choose a sieve. Forge bonus. Um, their farm upgrades are free. That's very helpful. Their scouts get extra HP, their their knights get free, essentially free bloodlines. They have cheap castles. It's a good sieve. 
Okay, red would need a house. They definitely, I wouldn't say they have build orders. Oh wait, he wants to go feudal age? Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't say they have build orders, but they have a general idea of what a build okay. should be. But blue is I know pig. And his, he's still scouting the other area of the map, so he's probably not going to get that pig at all. Welcome back, Florida man. Hope you have a good time during holidays with your family. Thank you, Polly. Dude, I did have a good time. I, uh, it's bittersweet because I, I ate way too much food. So I, I like, when I was flying back, they almost didn't let me on the plane because I gained 150 pounds. But, uh, I made it back and I'm trying to be healthy. And now I'm sick. But, anyways, thank you for the $5. Hope your holidays went well as well. Hmm. So Red wants to go scouts, but he has five on wood. Normal scout build would be ten on wood. Hey. This is going to be problematic because he can't afford the stable. He also needs a house. <laughs> uh, blue is on his way to feudal age. I would send three or four vills over to the deer. They're close enough where you can do that. This is a close game, man. This is a low elo legends episode right here. Noob McPoop Poop and Blue. And <laughs> Red doesn't have any vills underneath his TC, so Blue doesn't even need to be scared of that. <laughs> okay, I guess real Red realized he needed houses when he got to the next stage. Forgot about that one. He's queued up Wheelbarrow. Okay. So we know it's not Nikov, and now he's getting... Set wow. He queued up seven Militia? Did he just did he say, well, I don't have the wood for a stable, let's just make militia? What? Well Oh boy. These are these are ferocious villagers. Alright, I I don't love this move. I mean, militia are so weak. And if you wanted to go man at arms, you would need gold and Oh boy. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. I love how at the very least he's focused on creating bills. That's good. That's key. Okay, blue has gone from having no villagers on deer See? to ten villagers on deer. It's a little bit reactionary if you ask me. In fact, I don't even think all of these villagers can surround that one deer. On year, okay, but he's going to the others. Happy New Year. Alright, it's year, it's fine. Get hyped for this year. I'm not I'm not gonna stress too much about this. But they both gone feudal and they obviously didn't have a strong game plan for what they wanted to do in feudal. Yeah. So that does concern me. Like there was no scout build, there's not even a barracks for blue, so he's just hanging out here in feudal age. And if you want to go to the next level, you're really gonna need to either go feudal for a game plan or so just go fast castle. All right. Now, red's going to gold. I would love to see him build another lumber camp. Please don't tell me. Oh, they're all going to gold. Holy cow. How m What? Nine on gold? That is a lot on gold. It's 20 gold of militia. So if he's planning on making more, that is, that is a big investment. Oh, no. Oh, now he's going to build houses with these six villagers. I think they have a really... I think their boss sent them a really uh, insane deadline. So normally, you would think you could build the house with one villager and take your time. But no, these people want their houses now. More people are moving to this area. It's an up-and-coming city. We need to force down the houses with six villagers. Not one. Not two. Not three. Six. Or I guess five. She's She's taking a break. All right, uh, but he will build a lumber camp automatically, which is a much better eco balance. <laughs> now Noob McPoop Poop is like, well, I've watched T90, I've watched T90 cast experts before. They always go for three men at arms, so that must be the number. You are correct. It's just the timing is just seven minutes too late. Um, Blue has decided to farm without walls, so it, the man at arms attack could work really well. 
Uh, oh, I wonder what he'll do if he sees the pig. He sees the boar now. Will he just kill it because he thinks he's supposed to kill boars? I would just leave it there. There's no sense in taking it. Uh, after his blacksmith is completed, he will click up to Castle Age. So this is not really a fast castle, but uh, uh, a slowish castle. A low elo legend castle, Age, for Calio. Servidor. All right. Oh, Red, don't... Now he's making stables. Well, I mean, this is cool, but please just farm a lot and go Castle Age. Do not make scout sounds. Way too late. Oh, he gets the first kill of the game, though. Let's go. Let's get this party started. Hype it up. Hype it up. Red, dodge, dodge, dodge. Good micro. Okay, where did all Red's food go? Alright, so, guys, one thing you can learn, like I said, it's obvious they don't have built. He could see he has 18 on wood and 8 on food. So, you should constantly be looking and say, wow, I have a lot of food. I don't have a lot of, I don't, or sorry, I have a lot of wood. I need food. What should I do? Oh, wait, hey. build farms, right? Hi. Adapting is the best skill you can learn in this game. Uh, I don't know what Blue's going to do in Castle Age. He does not have a stable for knights. Knights would be a good move. Um, he's not on stone for conquistadors, so he's gone fast castle, but with what plan? I have no clue. Okay, Red is not creating... He's refreshing his lumber camp. That's good. He's not creating scouts. That's good as well, because I want him to go castle age. Just where is his food? Could have taken the deer, could have built farms faster. You need about 16, 17 farms here. Oh, but the man-at-arms are doing work! The man-at-arms are doing work! Blue arrives in Castle Age, but the enemy's here! Noob, Mc, M Noob McPoop Poop is ready to go. No, he's not. He's dead. Alright. First thing that Blue does is get handcart. Probably not the best timing for that eco upgrade, but it is an eco upgrade and I can appreciate it. Servidora? Now what? No stable. So he's not going to punish Red at all for not being in Castle Age. No stable for a knight. Just one knight on the wood line would wreak havoc. But nothing. Monday? He seems to be chopping his way through this wood line. He needs a new one eventually. Here would be good. There's two villagers here. And there's 18 villagers here, walking long distance. Oh, Red's creating scouts. Oh, no. Actually, oh, oh, wait a second. Or, oh, yes. Blue's not expecting anything. Oh, don't tell me. What if Blue over chops this? How funny would that be? Wait, did he already over chop it? No, I didn't. Shh, Red, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Back up. Back up. Check the tree and wait. Check the tree and wait. He keeps trying to click past and won't let him. I doubt a noob is going to look to see there's 20, 20 food, uh, wood left there. Oh, man. There goes the surprise. If you would have waited... Oh, wait, hold on. Blue might over chop this. He's going to be focused about walling behind. Blue will over chop this. Will Red realize... Noob McPoop, Noob McPoop Poop. That's a hard name to say. Oh! No, you're going the wrong way! He didn't know! Wait, does he know? Will he know? Does he know? Did he see it? Will he come back this way? Will he click up to the next stage? He's getting his buildings. Blue cannot house wall there because there's a bamboo tree. Blue does not see that as open. Blue is on two town centers, and he's now gone to stone. So the timing on stone, if you want to conquest the is way too late. And red is on the way to Castle Age. This is a close game. And blue's trying to house wall it. Oh, okay, okay. He realized he can't now. All right. All right, so red has armor. I mean, he's, he's armor and attack on the way. Oh, no. All right, blue spotted it. Okay. 
Now we'll blue chop wood here again, because if so, that has six wood. Oh, and Red's like, up. Oh, I never could get through. What a bummer. <laughs> He's like, damn it. My buddy told me to go scout rush and just run through the holes in their walls, but this freaking guy walled up. <laughs> there was never an opportunity for me to get through, damn it. Why do pros even go for scouts? Wow, that's a lot of stables. Okay. Well, I mean, the scouts could kill Vils. Alright, kills that scout. Kill these villagers. Blue went... Blue went Castle Age. Did he try and quick wall there? Oh, no, don't build the tower. Do not build a tower to protect from scouts, guys. That seems to be like a very common decision from people. Actually, he quick wall though. All right, whatever. I'll take it. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. It could have been a palisade wall instead of the tower. It would have been, that. It would have been a m much cheaper investment. But nice palisade wall. Okay, red is getting light calf for his three scouts. It's probably not worth it. Um, he really needs houses. Which will take him some time to figure out. Oh no, he's going to build the houses out here. So there's no panic when they get housed. Panic when you have six villagers in Feudal Age, but... When you have four staples to produce knights from in Castle Age, don't panic. Take your time. Okay, the Light Cav attacked the Spears. Now the Light Cav, they have upgrades, so they could kill the Spears. But I feel like low-level players freak out. And they think, you know, wow, that thing counters me. It's pointy, I need to run. That hurts. And so Blue has a Vill lead. And I think now would be the time for Blue to build a castle where he's most vulnerable, and that is right here. If you drop a castle there, Blue, you're good. Okay, Calio. But if you don't drop a castle, the knights are going to Calio you, so... No! Why there? No, that's... Dude, there was just army here. Well, maybe he thinks the two spears are enough. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, and he hit the castle too, so if Red attacks that, he could... He could... Blue would lose the stone. I think he's he's thinking about securing the gold. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna chop the tree too. He's gonna chop the tree! Oh, it's panic time in Calio's base! No! Calio, don't throw it all away! Red, attack it! Attack no, red attack the attack the foundation? And blue will lose all the stone. Oh, blue deleted it. All right, good move. Back up. Oh, yep. Quick wall. Quick wall. Nice. Quick wall. Okay, castle here. Castle right here. In your base. Forget about these villagers. They're dead. Red might not even kill them anyways, because he's attacking the tower. Just castle here. You still have a vill lead. You have to make military at some point in this game. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, well, he has Spanish builders. So I think this castle will go up, but uh, Red spotted it. Um, this is going to make the game a lot more even, let me tell you, because the castle will go up, but Blue will lose a whole bunch of villagers in the process. This is such a close game. So if you combined Blue and Red, you would have a really solid player. Red, he doesn't boom so much, but he attacks. Blue booms, but he doesn't attack. I think I prefer Red's position, though. He is on two TCs producing bills now, and he has the knights. So, so now, Red might be thinking, well, what do I do? So there's a couple things you can do here. First off, you, you might need to expect conquistadors. So what I would really like to see Red do is make a monastery... And try and collect some relics. He does see relics. So make a monastery, collect relics. Because this game's going to imp. Alright? You could also use a monk or two to convert conquistadors at home. And to just heal up your knights. Alright? Uh, what blue should do is he needs to make some freaking units. And he's doing it now. So making conquistadors. But guys, it's 65 population to 65. It is so close. And conquistadors are very, very strong units when you get enough of them. And they're really hard to counter, too. Really, the best thing you can do is damage the person before they get to Conquistadors. 
Blue's gonna need some upgrades. Now, it's it's archer armor upgrades for conquistadors, and then getting bloodlines and husbandry from the stable for the uh, HP and the, the speed is really important. Uh, and you gotta be able to micro with these bad boys, too. I also see blue is making pikemen. I, I don't mind this. Conquistadors are enough on the on their own if you get enough. But going pikemen and conquistador is actually a really good combo against Franks. Alright. Okay, so you gotta hit and then you gotta run, buddy. Hit. I don't think you have enough conks to comfortably fight here. You also don't has hu have husbandry. You don't have any upgrades, blue. So you, you better run back to that castle and... Uh, Red, this is fine for red. This is good stuff. Now red runs back. N not bad. So again, wow, lots of houses going up. Um, if blue builds a stable, he could get those upgrades. Fighting one pikeman against ten knights is never going to be good, though. Presto, presto. Presto. See? Is Blue listening to you? Uh, he, future Blue is listening to me. Oh, he's getting the wrong upgrades. Oh, no. This is, I can see why he would think this, but he's getting the wrong upgrades. So he thinks that chain barding armor and scale mail armor applies to conquistadors, but it doesn't. It's, it, conquistadors are a confusing one. It's actually archer armor for these. See? So yeah, that does not affect them at all, and that's a huge waste of resources. Presto. No, it does, this does not affect conks, it, it's archer armor that affects conks. And then you need to get bloodlines in the stable to give them the plus 20 HP. So in some ways they benefit from cav upgrades, in other ways they benefit from archer. Yeah. If you guys didn't know that, today you learned. It's kind of silly, because you would assume that if some upgrades apply to cav, that that upgrade would apply to these as well. But it's actually a balanced decision, right? I think it's a balanced decision because... No, it's not stupid, because if you were- if chain barding armor affected conquistadors and knights, Spanish would be so much stronger. Like, they could make conks and knights, and they would just invest into the same amount of upgrades, so. So it applies- gunpowder are affected by archer armor, right? So, actually that's not true for all gunpowder. But yeah, anyways, for conquistadors... No upgrades on them. He doesn't realize, so I doubt he'll get those upgrades this game unless he gets it for something else. If he had the upgrades, he'd be much better off, and he's taking a good fight. No upgrades, no problem. Whoa, it's a forward castle from Red, though! Whoa, hello. That is an all-in, in-your-face castle. Where will Blue place his castle? <laughs> right there, okay. Well, Red doesn't have military anymore. He's getting murder holes. Because, uh, you know, that's important. You gotta research murder holes when you drop castles. Hey. It's a lot of knights with full upgrades. I think... I think what Red wants to do is shoot the market down and then drop another castle. I think he wants to castle drop Blue's eco. If you're blue, when you get the stone for it, just castle here to prevent that. It, he could do that if he purchased some. Yeah, red wants to take the market out and castle again, I'm pretty sure. So they're just sitting around. Uh, blue has more villagers than red. This is a very, very close game. And honestly, it has to be said, Castle Age play has not been bad from them. I'd say their early game was their weakest. Would you guys agree? Monday. Some players have strong early game and they have weak late game. These guys, I think they're stronger late game than they are early game. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, I hope Red realizes this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nope. 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 Just when I said they had better late game. Red's gonna commit to it! He's committing to it! Oh no, you can't know! Newbie poop poop, don't do this. Why? Why do this to yourself? What have you done to deserve this fate? 
The funny thing is, he might get the castle up. Oh, he's making petards, boys! He's making petards! The knights are taking in the arrow fire. Now, red, blue, uh, blue is making rams. What on earth? And the rams will get taken down. No way. If red destroys this castle, I'm going to lose it. Boom. Boom. Petard time. More petards. He could just go imp and make traps. Hey. But no, petards, that's necessary. Look at that petard micro. Nope. Will red drop another castle though? I mean, these knights are slowly picking off hills. The castle's picking off hills. Chivalry. All right, so now his stables are going to produce faster. He probably thinks chivalry applies to petards. Because he's not making anything out of his stables yet. He, he's been doing it all game. I'm sure it will happen. So, the better play, by the way, is to not send petards in one by one. Mass them. Wait till you have like a group of six or seven. I think you need eight for a castle. But just make enough. And then, once you have enough of them, then run in. And then one or two die, but the rest make it. You know, red has... He has Bodkin Arrow on his castles, and Blue doesn't even have Fletching or Bodkin. I feel like Blue's gonna lose this game. I, I really feel like Blue's gonna lose this game. He really seems to have been shocked by this. Oh, and he doesn't know where his golds are. He can't take this one either. Okay, here we go. I mean, still, three is a bit... It's not enough. Oh, man. That's so sad. Can Blue, can Blue take out one of these castles? Can he deal with these knights? Can he come back now? I mean, I say come back, but Red's population is not all that high. Wow, Red wants not only one ram, he wants four rams. It's a lot of siege. They're both really light on gold. They both stopped creating villagers. They're both so focused on the attack. And Blue will get his gold back, I think. That's three rams. Three rams and castle fire. Three rams will win. And now Red's like, oh boy, I need knights. So he's producing them. Are both castles going to die? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like both castles are gonna die. Red's repairing. The batards are complete waste, or are they? It helps. Uh, Red, you gotta get your knights in here. Uh, Red garrisons. He's now he's microing his castle, guys. He's microing his castle, but it's not gonna work. Oh no! Just give it up, dude. Just build a new one. Just just get rid of it. It's not like you're your childhood pet that you gotta like put through five surgeries to keep alive at the age of 20 just get rid of it it doesn't have a personality just build a new castle you know you don't need to be attached to that thing all right there's a siege workshop oh man blues i bet you red still wants to destroy that castle he's still making petards if he gets it i'll lose it man but now the Rams are over here. Red could still win this game. And by the way, Blue has 10,000 wood. So if you're getting older and you're having some trouble performing, uh, ask Blue. He'll be able to give you some advice. Maganels! And now a castle here? No! Oh, God, no! Noob McPoop Poop. This is not gonna... Will it? Oh! Okay, so Maganels are not good against Conquistadors. So he might be thinking they are, because it's a ranged unit. My god, he's made so many petards. This is crazy. Red could still go in. If Red just clicked Imp right now and started making trebs, he could win. I, I have yeah. no clue who's going to win this game. Blue could also sell all that uh, wood and have thousands of gold, which would be very nice. And but Red's castle is in range! I didn't even think about that. He has Bodkin Arrow. 
So his castle's in range of blues. And he's on his way to imp. What? This is this is definitely episode number three. We found it. We found Low Elo Legends episode number three. What on earth am I seeing right now? Red has... He needs wood, man. He needs wood for trebs. He needs wood for future farms. He needs resources, but my goodness. I mean, he also has 33 villagers inside of his castles right now. Blue needs to respond by going to Imp as well. I mean, his eco is definitely better. And same thing for him. Just just back up and build a castle here and you're fine. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, no, don't, Red, don't, no, no. No, no, no. Be very careful. That's 400 gold sitting right there. Should they raid? Oh, for sure. A knight or two, a conch or two in the wood lines? Like, it, basically any attack from either of them would, would do a lot. But I think they're so focused on the castles. And Blue really wants to take Red's castle out. And maybe Red's just tricking him into focusing on that instead of raiding. Blue's like, well, he wants to do it, so it must be good. Okay, there's a town center from Red. I mean, if Blue sent these conks into Red's economy, just imagine the destruction. But he doesn't know that. And then he feels like he wouldn't have any defense at home. Are oh, you sending one conk? All right. Blue is on the way to the Imperial Age. Blue is on the way to the Imperial Age. Red is in the Imperial Age. He cannot afford a single trip. And he... I have no clue what he's planning on doing. He made Maganels. So... Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Conquistadors against Knights. Even though the con... Oh, wait, no. He got he got the first armor upgrade. Alright. Um, the Conquistadors are going to win. Especially in the numbers that Blue has, but Blue only has one castle. I like how Blue has, has spread out his economy a little bit. Uh, Red wants to convert Conks, and he tries to. And now Red is microing. Blue is microing. Oh, oh. Minimum range. Oh! That was a good shot. Okay. I see barracks for Blue, so is he thinking Halbs? Conks? Still a good game plan. I hope both of them get chemistry, though. I highly doubt they're even going to have a university. Oh, no. Red got a university. But, guys, chemistry is really good here. If you get chemistry, then you can make Bombard Cannons. And then you can use those instead of Trebs. Um, but, yeah, Cavalier's on the way for Red. He's not creating any units out of the stables yet, but he's getting his upgrades at least. Both of them need to be creating more vills. Red, he seems to really... He, he's basically saying, this is it for me. If this attack doesn't work, this is it for me. Because he's not creating any more eco. Blue created more eco, and look at those resources. So, Calio, I, I consider ahead. If I were to hand these situations to pro players, Blue would definitely win, but... You never know. I mean, Blue's not going to have his blacksmith, and wow, Red is attacking the blacksmith, where Blue is getting his upgrades. That's a smart play there, my friend. No upgrades for you. Alright, so those halberdiers aren't that upgraded. Now, if Blue doesn't have a lot of conquistadors, or sorry, um, yeah, if he doesn't have a lot of conquistadors and he's making only halbs, what Red could do is make throwing axemen. Throwing Axeman would definitely be the way to go. But guys, if Red just clicked one unit here, one unit here, one unit here, one unit here on attack stance, he would probably kill like 50 plus Vils. Because Blue wouldn't react. Oh my goodness, Red is getting Paladin. Oh my goodness, that's so expensive. I can't believe he's done this. Will Red be able to take any good fights against the pointy boys, though. Alright, he snipes that treb, and he loses his cavalier. Red is going to defend with trebs. Very much expect him to lose his castle.
blue has so many resources. So, the, the benefit of being in red's position is that you're applying pressure and it stresses blue out. Um, yeah, that wall, maybe Can just wait a minute before you try that wall, blue. <laughs> like I said, he's stressed out. He's really scared, so he's not able to focus too much. Monday. All right. I think red should fight anywhere but here. Red should try and hit blue's economy. And then blue will have to chase him, right? Blue has not built a new blacksmith, by the way. He assumes that blacksmith is researching things. Um, it is not. It, you have to check your own upgrades just to make sure. And I think red is going to pack up his trebs and attack blue's treb. I say treb, it's only one, it's about to be two. Monday? Uh, and, I mean, it's very possible red keeps his castle alive. He just needs to land a few shots, and that Maganel will not kill a trebuchet. Red is 50 population behind. The guy who named himself Noob McPoop Poop is 50 population behind. Do not fight Hops. Do not fight Pointy Boys with, with Paladins, dude. That's not good. Ah, oh, boy. What does Red build against those Halbs? Well, Axeman would be great. His big issue is just he doesn't have a lot of options because his eco fell off. I think he re is realizing that now. Yeah, you could go Skirm. You could go Elite Skirm with Paladins. But finally, he's starting to create some more villagers, though. But yeah, I would go... I mean, the best composition for Franks is Axeman and, um, and Paladin. You could go hand cannon. I'm just not a fan of it because of the cost. But yeah, in unlimited resources, you could go for that too. Okay, I hear a stable. Oh boy, oh boy. Calio has decided it is time to unleash the beasts. Please tell me he will go Paladin. Or at least Hussar, Paladin or Hussar. He's making a lot of stables. Oh boy. Like, I want to believe in Noob McPoop Poop because imagine the amount of self belief you would have to have to name yourself that. That's no self belief whatsoever. He didn't say, I'm going to be good one day. He, he said to himself, Nope, we peaked. This, this, is, this is where I'm at, I am, and I'm happy with this. He's accepted it. It's like it's like when a guy starts to lose his hair going into his 20s. You just gotta shave it right off, cut your losses, and realize, I'm a noob, all right? I'm a noob. Just accept it before, you know, you don't wanna go into denial, all right? Onager's all right. Uh, you can get some big shots. I, I don't love it, but it's doing, it's like I said, it's doing okay here. But Blue's pushing back. And Blue, I, one thing I like about Blue is he, he had more eco. And he's producing. So he continues to fight. Yes, he lost units, but he's producing. Look at the top left. So don't get too attached to your units, guys. Alright? Don't 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 get too attached to your units. They're gonna die. Alright? They're fighting for a cause. So you can send in a wave, get some value, and then create more. That's something that Noob McPoop Poop is not doing a lot of producing oh headshot okay what should what guys what is the one unit that blue should make against this composition okay what should he do champs wrong i disagree hussar yep yeah, hussar's fine you don't even need you don't even need a gold unit for this Hussar and you're good. Save your gold for other things. Hussar it up, man. Make Hussars. The only thing you then can't really kill with Hussars is Paladins, but Red doesn't have a lot of it, so... It's not a big deal. Uh, Red should be taking this gold, I think. You really have to look to the mini-map to see what you can find, resource-wise. Um, this is getting concerning for him. Now, do any of them have relics? Blue has one relic. 
Red is one, two, I think, right? Yeah, okay. They just don't have the confidence to, to go on raids, you know? It's it's so interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh my goodness, don't build that castle, dude! He's like, nah. Red doesn't have petards, it's fine. As long as, as long as Red doesn't have his own castle or petards, this castle's fine. <laughs> yeah. Because the only thing we needed to worry about before was petards. And castles. He's gonna lose that stone. That castle is going to be destroyed before it's finished. All that stone's gone. Okay, we have elite conquistadors. What? That's where he used his gold. So, elite conquistadors are gonna be really good here. And he is making light calf. And he has full armor on the light calf. This is good work. This is good work from blue, but oh no, the conks. The conks. And now we're getting to the point where red should make halves, and red red has more resources, kind of. Well, he has more food and, and wood anyways. But yeah, red should be making pointy boys himself now. Chopping away. Chop, 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 chop. He just sold a lot of food. I guess for paladins? Oh, and he sold all of his wood right there. And now he's making the paladins. Who's gonna win, guys? <clears throat> Who's gonna win? I think Blue's gonna win. I think he's producing enough. I think I like his upgrades. I like his composition. <clears throat> he, um... I mean, that all changes if Red sends, <clears throat> excuse me, any units into Blue's economy, but right now the opposite is happening, and Red is sending units into Red's economy. This is really the first time that they've been in each other's economies in a long time. I would die if Red sends Paladins into the farms and the woodline, and they both just start dropping bills like flies. Definitely a mistake from Red. He's getting the armor for his skirms now. That's not your problem. Skirmishers are just not good against Hussars, so... Oh. Um... <laughs> Evacuate! He's doing it! Red's... Guys, I have a feeling that Red's Paladins will destroy Blue's Vills. I mean, at least Blue has a castle here, but still. Hey. Red still has so much less. He has 40 idols out of 80 Vills, and they'll probably lose these. The, the Trebs are coming forward to destroy the buildings. Red's not tech switching. Nah, I don't... I don't see a way back now. I think Noob McPoopPoop -poop is probably gonna lose this game. <laughs> and what a game, man. This game has been so good. Back and forth. I talked about the eco expansion, the the rating, the compositions. Just the, no, just the build orders in general, but I think Red now... He's not doing anything. He's not producing anything. I think he realizes he's probably dead. And so he's... He's kind of given up hope. That or he was microing his paladins. Maybe it's both, I don't know. Fighting with Villas here. Really interesting game. Really interesting game. I think they should both be really, really proud of this. Blue's composition though, a whole lot cheaper. And he had a whole, first off, beautiful T90 farm here, but he had a whole lot more economy, look at this. When we look at the resources collected in this game, Blue's gonna have so much more. And that's what won him the game. Alright, well, it wouldn't be a low elo legend game if it wasn't for someone not resigning on time. Hey. Alright, he's producing spears now. I doubt he's doing it to counter anything, I just think he's just producing units so he, he delays getting defeated as long as possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a light cap here. He has villagers here. I fully expect him to to run around the map <laughs> until Galio kills him. 
Hey, don't tell YouTube to switch it to two times speed. They do that already, Rick. Okay. I saw that. Mods, get him out of here. Hmm. To build a wonder? Yeah, he doesn't even have... He has 10 gold right okay. now. Well played, Blue. Look at his pop, too. He should be proud of this, man. 195 pop. Way to go. He didn't even scout these golds on the back. Oh! That actually scared me. GG. I imagine Red called the GG because uh, we can't see the in-game chat. Alright. Let's look at the Chiefs, shall we? What a performance. 37,000 food collected. Way more wood collected. More stone collected. Not as much gold. But food and wood eco cannot be underestimated. That's what Calio used to make those halbs. And I think Franks do have the option to counter the halbs, but only if with a lot of economy. A noob mick poop poop went into skirmishers, and Blue realized he needed to make the hussar. That was it. And Red didn't react in time, or he didn't foresee the fact that he was vulnerable to that composition. There's a lot of that you have to do in this game. The better you get, if you start going with one unit, like let's say I'm going with a bunch of archers, I have to expect my opponent's going to go for skirmishers or mackinels, and then I have to prep for that. So I make a switch into knights. Uh, and that's similar to what Blue did here. He saw that Noob McPoop Poop. I hate the fact that I have to say that out loud as an adult. But yeah, Noob McPoop Poop was only making skirms and onagers. And the second the Hussar switch came in, the game ended. Um, I think there was an opportunity for Red to push his advantage a little bit more. And when he was an imp and he had those castles there. He just kind of stood at home. Um, I think it's a very low-level elo thing to not raid, but uh, building a stable or two in the corners and, and beginning to raid with light cav is always good, and it would have probably clamped down on Blue's economy a bit more. But man, such a close game. <laughs> uh, Red really needs to work on his on streamlining his build orders, Noob McPoop Poop was in Feudal Age at 11 minutes. He didn't hit Castle Age till 26 minutes. Um, he did make Feudal Age military, but if you streamline it, make it a bit better, you can actually have scouts out at 11 minutes, and then you can be in Castle Age at 17 or 18. So that potential is always there to improve. And then there's the total look at the villager high and the relic count, and there's the timeline. Like, up, down, all around, zigzagging, crazy, crazy game. And that is uh, Legend, uh, sorry, that's not Legend. That's Low Elo Legend number three for sure. I think that was good uh, for people who are watching at home. I hope so anyways. What do you think, chat? Do we all vote yes? Have we found our third episode? YouTube, if they vote no, I'm going to do yes anyway. Just don't tell them that their vote doesn't count. Okay. Yeah, they don't, they can't hear me. I, I've muted my mic for Twitch. Only YouTube can hear this. Uh, Exile, thank you for the new sub. All right. So you, luckily you guys all voted for making that the new episode. Because if you would have voted no, I would not have uploaded it. Send forth the flaming camels. Ha! 